Yo what's going on guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to share some powerful AI tools that can make your editing simple and faster within Filmora 14. So let's get started. First, let's look at the silence detection tool. If you add voiceovers to your videos, like I do, this tool is a lifesaver. Normally, syncing your voice with the video means going through and manually cutting out silent parts, which takes a lot of time. But with silence detection, you can do this automatically in just a few clicks. So here's how it works. Select your voice layer, go to the toolbar, and pick silence detection. Or you can also right-click on the layer, choose smart edit, and select it from there. Then a new window will pop up, and here you can adjust these settings you want, but I usually stick with the default. Then, click Analyze to start the process. Filmora will remove all the silent parts from the voice layer like this. Then click Finish and Replace to save the changes. And you can see it's split the audio into sections, making it easy to line up with the video. You can see it's a huge time saver for editing. Next, let's talk about the Auto Caption tool, which I use a lot for adding captions. To add captions, select your voice layers, go to the toolbar, and click Speech to Text tool. This will open a new window. Then you can check this box to enable Auto Caption. After that you can adjust other settings you like, then click Generate to create captions. Alright after that we have our caption layers like this. Ok let's customize this. So go to the template section, and here you can pick a caption style. So Filmora 14 has a bunch of new templates, so you can choose one that fits your video. So after picking a style you can adjust these text scales, positions, and adjust the words you need. Ok then we can adjust the text color, so you can see we have three different color options here. So the first one is the main text color, so I keep it to default white color, and the next one is the active word color, which mean the word currently speaking, so here I change the color to nice cyan color. Also in here if you go to the background section, you can adjust this shape color as well, so I change it to yellow color like this. Alright so in here we can change color of the keywords, which means highlighted words, so in the text box we can find the keywords like this. So if you want to change them to default, simply select these words, and disable the emphasis mode of these words like this. Also you have a, another option to make these words to a single line. For that simply select the words you need, and select this merge option. So now you can see it working as a single line like this. Ok after you customizing your text layers, you can add animation to this, so let's see how to add that. So simply I select all these layers, and go to the multiple, select animation, then change this to preset motion. So in here you can select any animation you want. So for my videos I use this grow shrink animation. And that's how I add animated captions using this auto caption feature. Finally let's look at the AI text based editing tool. Imagine you finished your video, but you need to remove a specific part. Normally you'd have to cut that part out and re-edit the timeline, which can take a while. But with AI text-based editing, Filmora lets you edit based on the transcript of your video. To use it, first add your video to the timeline, then go to the toolbar, and choose AI text-based editing. Or you can right-click on your layer, select Smart Edit Tool, and select it from there. After that here choose your video language, then hit OK and wait for Filmora to create a transcript of your video. Once you have the transcript, find the line you want to cut. For a example I select this line, and press backspace to delete. Filmora will remove the selected part from the timeline like this. You can even search for specific words, or delete all silent sections with one click if you want. Once you're done, Click Export to Timeline. So then you can add any transitions or finishing touches you need. 
And that's how you can use these AI tools in Filmora 14, you can see it helps speed up editing and make it a lot simpler. If you haven't tried them yet, give them a try, they can really improve your workflow. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and if you like this video please hit the like button, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next video.